Shalom. This video is about the 70 bulls that were sacrificed in ancient time on the holiday of Sukkot. Now, again, most Jews know this, but not all non-Jews know this. Jews do not sacrifice animals. We don't, uh, and we haven't for 2,000 years since the second temple was destroyed in the year 70. And I have other videos on the whole issue of sacrifice. Uh, rather, Judaism for the last 2,000 years has been uh, the religion of prayer and Torah study and deeds of loving kindness. That all changed after the second temple was destroyed. But we still read about the sacrifices in the Bible and try to understand what spiritual and religious meaning we can derive from them. And so the question is, why does it say uh, on the holiday of Sukkot in Numbers chapter 29, starting with verse 12, that on the first day of Sukkot you sacrifice 13 bulls, and then the next day 12, and then 11, then 10, then 9, then 8, then 7, and so forth, until you get to the last day, and excluding the last day, you have 70 in total. So why 70? Well, according to the sages, there were 70 nations of the world. And the holiday of Sukkot, which is a holiday of ingathering and, and joy, you know, I have other videos which help can explain that. Uh, on the holiday of, of expressing our joy at our harvest and our good fortune, we offer a prayer for the welfare of all other nations. Now contrast that with the president of Iran who says we want to wipe out Israel and all the vile things that are said about Jews in various places around the world. But the Jewish people, the children of Israel, are commanded by God to pray for the welfare of all the nations of the world on the holiday of Sukkot with these 70 bulls representing the 70 different nations. Interesting that when I first came to my new community, the mayor said to me that we have 70 different ethnic groups in this community. And he said it to me on the holiday of Sukkot. So I pointed out to him about this Torah story and about the idea that we have to pray for the welfare of all people, that all people should live in harmony and peace. So anyway, that's no bull. That's why uh, one of the, the classic explanations of why it says starting in Numbers chapter 29, verse 13 there, 12 and 13, and going right through that chapter about why there are all those bulls um, that are sacrificed on the holiday of Sukkot.